Hi everyone, Love Theater 5 here, aka Haley, and today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite games, SteamWorld Quest for the 3DS. So I have a 3DS XL, and for Christmas I got it. So, here it is. It's red. Um. And the one game I really wanted was SteamWorld Heist. Happily, two days after Christmas, no, one day after Christmas, my dad had bought me, had added $20 exactly to my Nintendo eShop. So, Nintendo eShop is the only place right now uh, you can get SteamWorld Heist. I'll even show you. Steamworld Heist, 1999 on the thing. I need to rate this ish because it's amazing. <coughs> it's a really good game. I absolutely love it. And yeah, sorry, I keep looking out the window for one of my friends. Um, so. On the uh, eShop, it's an eShop exclusive. Ooh. I got it for eighteen dollars, but plus tax, so it was like no. On the when I think it was a winter sale or something like that, it was sixteen dollars, and then I had bought in it for eighteen dollars and something cents, um, which was cool because I absolutely love the game. So let's go home. To prove I actually have the game, here it is. Okay, so I would start a gameplay uh, thing for it. I look so freaking like mad right now. I'm like, yeah, wait for a friend to wave at me. Uh, no. So imagine form games. That's all I have to. Cowbots are bad. Mining what little land is left, constantly dealing with all sorts of space jerks. There are the gangs of scrap metal meanies roaming about, preying on the weak, and completely disregarding basic manners. <laughs> then there are the diesel driven royalists. A bunch of them. Royalists are jerks. Let's just say that. So this is the title screen. This is Piper. That's. Oh, that's Billy. I totally forgot his name. So. No, oh, crap. No, go away. So, I have two profile profiles. Profile one has 10 hours on it of just me playing SteamWorld Heist. And then profile two has 36 minutes. I'm probably going to do. A new game for a gameplay, but I'm gonna show you my profile one. Uh, yeah, that's the little loading screen. I love the loading screen; it's amazing. So the robots I have so far are Piper, the uh, captain, and the one person you play throughout the whole game. Uh, and we have Seabrass. He is the one that I was talking about that I totally forgot his name. Um, and we have Eventski or something like that. Kind of reminds me of Bobinski from Coraline. Maybe. Probably not. We have Dora, the wonderful explorer. <laughs> I didn't need to make that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dora. I love you. Not, not Dora the explorer for like little kids, but the robot. Yeah. And we have Valentine. He is a guy. He's cool. I like him. He's pretty cool. He's an old man and he has a bar mustache. <laughs> Isaac has sent a photo. Thank you, Isaac. Beatrix! I like how the guys have female names. It's amazing. Uh, Payroll. 
Harold is Bay. He's cool. Sally. Miss Sally. Billy! He says blub. He says blub blub. Like glub. You would think he would say glub, right? Nope, he says blub. One of my favorite things is that Steam Hard Draft actually is in the game. Uh, also, here I, we have Wonky, the uh, the not captain. I totally forgot, but he basically drives the ship because he's actually connected to the actual ship. <laughs> Pretty amazing. I'm so happy right now. can slightly hear it. the amazing steam powered giraffe. We have Hatchworth, Rabbit, and Spine. The Spine is one of my favorite characters. Or one of my favorite uh, robots, actually, from steam powered giraffe. I think the songs that I've heard so far are Star Scrap. I don't know what the other one is. It's the first song that you hear in like the actual bar. Uh, I think I can actually go to that bar and that we'll be playing. Probably, hopefully, maybe. Uh, Star Scrap. Uh, Honeybee. <laughs> I was like, what the hell song is it? Remembering the song. Now let's go to the outskirts. I was in the core right now. And actually, in the game, if you go to uh, Lola's bar, before you uh, defeat Chop's Chop or go to somewhere else, uh, you can actually find uh, the spine saying that that's not a good thing because there's a bunch of loyalists everywhere. Yeah, it's this song. You can still hear it. I don't know what song this is, I want to know. So, yeah. I'm probably gonna ask for the album that they come out with for uh, this game. For some of my. Freaking love these guys! <laughs> I want to know this song so bad. So bad. His voice is so low, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, so yeah, I don't know song that that one was, but I do know Star Scrap. Uh, I'm gonna go find the bar that that one's at. It's like a dream, a silly fantasy. I think it's at Lola's bar. I think play it. No. It's not Lola's bar. <laughs> Is it Lola's bar? No. I'm gonna try to find the bar that it's at, and I'll be back when I find it. I found it! This is Star Scrap by Steam Power Draft. Uh, it's at... 
the first bar that you go to in the core. The core is a place where the loyalists are, where the loyal robots are, uh, and, uh, the outskirts, remembering where that word is, the outskirts is where, like, the non-loyalists are, so, like, the cowbots and all of them. The song is so sad. Sorry, Here's a annoying guy. I think. One sec, I'm gonna talk to him. He's a commander. Is he Commander Cosmo? Probably not. Okay. So now I'm turning off my 3DS. A cool thing that would be awesome if there was like an Easter egg where you see Commander Cosmo like just flying across to one of the things in the outskirts and like either Commander Cosmo, the astronaut, uh, or, or Daughter of Space. <laughs> so awesome if that existed. Where Cosmica and the astronaut like flew across, uh, uh, the actual thing, like the actual game, or the background, and you just see Cosmica and the astronaut going, Wooey! <laughs> I would die laughing or crying or both. Because <laughs> I absolutely love Cosmica and the astronaut. Um, crap, I need to continue listening to the voice quarter. So, I'm over, stay lovely, and bye.